Hi cuties, welcome back. It's Sunday evening, home from my hike. It's much later now. And I'm doing a bit of a Sunday food prep. I mentioned in my last vlog that I'm trying to just make things that I can have throughout the week so I'm not skipping meals unintentionally, blah, blah, blah. So I have a pot of soup going. I'm just using these. I think this is kind of like local-ish, but any sort of like bag soup. Sometimes I would just make soup from scratch, but these are, excuse me, really easy and it's already eight o'clock and I just kind of want to get it done. And then I'm making a sauce for Thai noodle salad that my mom used to always make. Making the sauce and letting it sit overnight so that tomorrow I can just do like the noodles and the prep and stuff. And then that will be kind of like my lunch throughout the week. I will leave a recipe to the Thai noodle salad below. I think I've shared it before, but I will put it down there again. But I just wanted to say, hey, welcome back. Doing my little prep, doing a little dance, enjoying my company, my own company for the evening. I kind of had a bad day. Really emotional, I was really snappy, wasn't myself. And I'm kind of just taking a time to reflect on why I was that way or what's going on with me. I don't know, it's just not my best day. So I'm kind of just grounding myself now. Okay. Everything I have to bring, I give an everything. I just want to live in bliss. Baby, can you grab this wish? You're the piece that might just fit in my puzzle that's in Good morning. I'm downtown. There's nobody down here. It's like a ghost town. Everything is closed. I don't really know what's going on. Is today a holiday? I don't think so. Anyways, I'm just about to meet Paige at MEC because we need to get something for Nick for his birthday. And... I think I'm gonna get a record because he collects records. Anyways, um, and then probably do some work at a coffee shop or something. I don't know. I'm like actually trying to be very unafraid of filming in public right now because who cares? Life's short, baby. Okay. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. morning it's Tuesday I am just getting my day started and I wanted to talk about the sponsor of this video which is ritual y'all know I love ritual I've worked with them for over a year now and I know it's something that y'all love too so I wanted to quickly come on here and share the love some more I just wanted to highlight the essential for women 18 plus I have been taking this for over a year it is my favorite multivitamin I have ever taken it's something that I have had in my routine like a multivitamin for since I was younger this was the perfect transition for taking a multivitamin as an adult it's a subscription service so you get it mailed to you exactly when you need it um, all of their ingredients are 100% traceable which I love so every time you get them mailed you can see exactly where they're coming from they're very very transparent on their website they have a mini aftertaste which I love they're vegan capsules and you can take them with or without food morning or night so perfectly works into whatever schedule you have and I truly cannot say enough good things I take them every day I also take them with my ritual symbiotic plus which is their pre post and probiotic so take these together love that this has been a constant for me and it really helps that they are mailed to me every three months so I never run out I never have to think about getting them they're just always there when I need them just make sure I have all the daily values that I need if you're looking to take a multivitamin or it's something that you have always done and you just are looking for one to take you into adulthood I suppose um, this is a great option and from now until the end of the month so January 31st of 2023 you can get 30% off your first month which is an amazing deal you can try it out and see how it works for you and I'm sure you will probably love it as much as I do so I will leave a code on the screen here I think it's Sarah G30 and then a link down below if you want to check out their website I love ritual I love working with ritual it has been one of my most enduring YouTube partnerships and I'm so grateful to have relationships like this and products that I really care about and stand behind and take every day myself so I will leave a link to that down below I'm going to go pick up some packages that I need to go get for some projects and then yeah 
it's a beautiful sunny day it hasn't been sunny here in a really long time so i'm feeling really happy and excited to hustle today i just got back from picking up some packages and then got a notification that another one had got delivered but i had to scurry myself home because i needed to put a post up usually i need to sit in front of my computer and cross-reference all my talking points and stuff so i will be going back to see my favorite fedex guy later but i wanted to show you what i got because i don't know what it is Ooh, prep eyewear is le releasing a new style it should already be out by the time this video goes up and i as you know i'm a big crap eyewear fan i have purchased a couple pairs for myself and they wanted to work with me which is really exciting you always want that to happen oh my god these are so cool these are not something I feel like I would normally pick out, but I really, really like them. These are the Chaos style. That is the polarized gray and black um, lens. And then there's also this fun pair, which I'm really excited because I'm going to bring these to Mexico. And this is the frost color with the, oh my God. These are so sick. I hope they look good on me. If they don't, I'm going to cry. Do I look speedy? Oh, I actually really love these. Okay, so here's these. And if you follow me on TikTok, you've probably already seen my TikTok that I'm gonna do with these, like styling them. Oh, someone is calling me. It's FedEx saying that a package got delivered. Um, okay, here's the black one. Love these. So excited to style those. I'll probably do that today because I think it is also due today. I know I am but one small, small, tiny part in this machine, but it is really gratifying when you like a product and like a company and they see your work and then they wanna work with you. It feels good, so that's one of those sorts of partnerships that happened there. And then, this is something I ordered myself. I live in the PNW, as all of you know, and have gone through quite a few pairs of Blundstones. I love Blundstones. I think they're a great practical shoe. And I ordered myself another pair. This is a new style from them and I kept seeing ads for it. You know, it really worked this time. And I recently sold, I think these are the wrong size. I'm looking at them right now and I think they're the wrong size. That sucks. Oh, maybe not. I recently, why is my camera not focusing? Hello? I recently sold a pair of mine, so I wanted to get a replacement pair. And I noticed that they started making lug sole ones. And these are way more up my alley. I know all of this. Every single day I come on here and I show you a new pair of shoes. But I think I'll get a lot more wear of these. These remind me of like kind of like a better, I don't know, just like a big chunky combat boot or like Chelsea boot kind of vibe. Oh my god, these are way more stiff than my other ones are. Oh. But anyways, I thought I would get more wear out of these ones. I have brown Blundstones, and I don't wear them as much because they're brown. So I figured I'd get these ones. Desperately need to be, like, really worn in. Okay, this is what they look like on from the front. I don't know. I just feel like I would get a lot more wear out of these ones. And they're obviously very versatile, so... Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna wear them around my house, see how I feel, maybe style them a bit, and then decide if I'm gonna keep them or not. Hey. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get back to work. I'm gonna film those TikToks that I mentioned, and yeah, just having a big old work day today. Also, I was on, when I was walking to pick up said packages, it's usually when I like to take the time to text my friends and check in, and I was just, you know, rapid firing off some texts to a lot of my friends, and I fucking love my friends, and I love when good things happen to them, and I love when they're in love, and I love all of these things. It honestly is my reason for living and I just got like so many good things that have happened to all my friends recently and even if my life is not feeling very exciting I truly get secondhand happiness and just like the Im immense amounts of joy knowing that my friends are living their best lives so just wanted to say that if no one has 
checked in on you recently. I hope you're all doing amazing. And if you're not, I wish I could give you a big hug and maybe talk about it a little bit because I honestly don't know where I would be without my friends. I love them more than anything on this earth. And I just wanted to say that, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go get back to work now. Okay, I just wanna give you a little insight into what my apartment ends up looking like after I film some stuff. <laughs> I finally got lights, which is nice, but uh, yeah, it gets a little bit messy. The lights are great. It helps me film TikToks and stuff. Maybe I will start doing sit down videos again. I don't know. I just got them off Amazon. I'll link them down below if you're interested. It is, however, now about three o'clock and I haven't really eaten lunch yet today. So I'm having the tiny little salad that I showed or I mentioned that I was making this dressing for on Sunday. I assembled it last night and had it for dinner and now I'm gonna have it for lunch and answer the rest of my emails that I missed. And yeah, that's it. You're in the watchtower at the back of my mind And I'm stuck doing time Airplane shadows in the sunshine Crash into mine Yesterday so Happy Friday the 13th. I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Don't forget to check out Ritual. It'll be linked down below. I just took my vitamins actually. I should have filmed it. <laughs> I wanted to wrap this up, but I wanna share some things with y'all first because I've been a little bit of a vinyl SLUT recently and I don't know what has come over me, but I just can't stop buying them. I've had a record player for many years and I just have had a couple records but never really listened to them that much, but Something has come over me recently and I've just been purchasing them like crazy. Also, I got this Gorge sweater from James Street Co. I'll link it down below. I've been wearing it nonstop since I got it. But on Wednesday, my boyfriend and I had to go out to the Salvation Army on Helmkin. I don't know how to pronounce that street name, but because they have electronic recycling there. So we got some things. I got Pussycat Dolls PCD. Love this. Gonna put this in my car immediately. It's in amazing condition. Phenomenal album. And then we got some records because they're only $4 there. So we got Herb Albert's Tijuana Brass um, Whipped Cream and Other Delights. This is the one that has his most famous song on it. You've probably heard it. Anyways, we listened to the whole thing the other night and it's really good. So pleased with that. It's actually kind of scratched, which is unfortunate, but it's still a good listen. And then we also saw this one, which is... Um, just volume two. Haven't listened to it yet. Excited to listen to this one. I got Bob Seger's <laughs> Stranger in Town because um, old time rock and roll's on this. I actually haven't really listened to the other ones, so I'm excited to give this a listen. And then I got Glenn Campbell's Southern Nights. We all know Southern Nights. I actually am not familiar with the rest of them, so I'm excited to listen to it. And I feel like if there's music that you're not super familiar with, listening to it on vinyl is kind of a fun way to do it. So we got those. And then I went to Superstore yesterday and to do some grocery shopping. And I bought these headbands and I wanted to share them because I've been obsessed with Carolyn Bissette Kennedy's style. I know this is probably nothing new. She's obviously like a 90s minimalist icon as far as the things that she wore. Um, obviously, rip, but... She always wears like these thick plastic headbands. These are the thickest I could find, so I got them. But I love this tortoise shell one, so I'm trying to emulate her, you know? She was just so chic and beautiful, and yeah. And then, yesterday, I got a few clips of it when we had our little day out. We went to go get a present for uh, Paige's boyfriend, Nick. It's his birthday next week, but we're celebrating it this weekend. And we decided to get him a record because he collects records too. And apparently, according to Paige, he's been listening to a lot of jazz. So we decided to get him the best jazz album ever. We decided to get him this Gets and Gilberto album, which I'm sure everyone knows, but it's like apparently a special pressing of it. Um, 
I'm not super familiar about the different kinds of presses and stuff that they do, but my boyfriend pointed out that this is a really good version of it and it was a lot more expensive than the other one, so very excited to gift him this. So we got him that and then while I was there, I also picked up the Farfield from Future Islands. If you guys didn't know, Future Islands is one of my favorite bands. It's also where my boyfriend and I met. We met at a Future Islands show. We literally were just standing right beside each other and started chatting. And anyways, so the Farfield is probably my favorite. I don't know, I love singles obviously, but I think I probably listen to the Farfield the most. So I got that, again, Impulse Buying Records. And then I got a package yesterday and forgot that I bought three more records. So I'm cut off. And I honestly feel so funny talking about this because I feel like this was such a thing, like for people to, I know like a lot of people collect records still, but I feel like this is something that I would have done way earlier in my life and now I'm just doing it now. Anyways, I got um, The Dream by Alt-J, their latest album. I love this album so much. This is probably why Alt-J became my number one played artist on Spotify this year because I was listening to this so much. And I saw them when they were touring this album. And anyways, really excited to listen to this. And then I got the only Fiona Apple uh, record I can get my hands on. I always check my local record store. She's just really hard to find. So I got Fetch the Bolt Cutters, but I've been really looking for Idler Wheel because that one I think is my favorite. But yeah, it's a, it's a four, I guess there's two discs in it. So I'm really excited to have this, but she is, it's really hard to come by. And yeah, it's a double vinyl. I'm very happy to have this in my possession. I hope my kids appreciate this when they're older. And then lastly, I got Black Velvet by Charles Bradley. I believe this is his debut album, uh, which he produced a lot with the Menahan Street Band. I'm pretty sure that they're on this one. Uh, anyways, I'm pretty sure this is his debut album. Anyways, I had the extraordinary uh, opportunity to see him before he uh, passed away, and it was one of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. And I would love to get all of his vinyl, but this is, I wanted to start with this one. Okay, that's all I have to share. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I will see all of your beautiful faces in the next one.